Today's video is sponsored by Reiboot. Reiboot can help you fix over 150 iOS issues. With the latest releases of iOS 16, Reiboot can help you fix whether you're stuck on an Apple logo, a constant boot loop, or even recovery mode. You can restore your device with no data loss. And you can also restore your device completely back to factory settings if you wish to do so as well. Now right here you can see you can enter and exit recovery mode with Reiboot as well with one single click of a button. So make sure to check out Reiboot. Links will be in the description and down below. Okay, so I've now had some time to play around with iOS 16 developer beta 5. I've been using it on my iPhone, of course. The more I use it, the more new features and changes have come across. And of course, I'd like to come back and share those with you guys. I also want to talk about a little bit about performance as well. There's still another follow-up video coming your way, guys, where I go ahead and talk about the YouTube community poll and things like that. So make sure you stay tuned for that video as well. So in this one, a quick follow-up, additional new features and changes, and of course, my experience so far with the software. As always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now easily one of the most popular features on the latest iOS 16 beta is the ability to now have the battery percentage displayed on the status bar of your iPhone. Now, as I installed this new software, this new beta on all my devices, I've noticed that this is limited to certain Face ID devices. There's four iPhones that do not support this feature. Those four is the iPhone 10R, the iPhone 11, the iPhone 12 mini, and the iPhone 13 mini. So four iPhones that do not support this feature where you can see on the status bar, the battery percentage. Now keep in mind, this feature is still in beta software, right? So this could be coming to those devices. Apple may be testing this. So let's go ahead and wait for the next beta. Make sure you stay tuned to the next beta here on this channel so that we can find out if Apple will actually bring this feature to all Face ID devices. Now, if we head on over into the Photos application here, I want to share with you guys a few splash screens that I've come across after using the beta. I have a new splash screen for photos, and these splash screens usually just depict certain features of the actual app, app that you're in, right? So if you open the Photos application, you will get the splash screen, a brief description of some of the latest new features. So when you install iOS 16, you sort of get an idea of what's new inside of that app. So here's the photos. We also have one for the home application as well. We have four detailed descriptions here for some of the new features that are coming to the home application. And same thing applies here for the Find My Network. We have three descriptions here, three new features within the Find My Network as well. So three new options, three new splash screens for these applications when you first launched them within iOS 16. Now, I want to shift my attention over to new features that I've come across after using the software for a couple of days now. And I want to start off with Emergency SOS. So if we press the side button and the volume up button together, we enable the Emergency SOS screen right here. So this now has a new tag. So Emergency Calls instead of Emergency SOS. So they changed the text here. Again, it was Emergency SOS. Now it is Emergency Calls. So when you slide, you can go ahead and make an emergency call. That's something that's new within the latest beta. Now also the Find My application now has a new sound alert and I wanna go ahead and play that sound alert for you guys. Just a quick heads up, if you have headphones on, make sure you put the volume down because I wanna play this sound for you guys, that way it doesn't affect your ears. So here is the new sound alert for the Find My application on the Find My network. So there you guys have it. Something minor, but yet something new within the latest beta here as well. Now I want to jump over into Apple Music because Apple has made some minor changes to the widget on the lock screen here. If we start playing music, we get this little nice glyph here on the top right portion of the actual widget, which shows like sound waves, right? As the music plays, it shows this little sound wave. I wish Apple would do this more where the OS just feels alive. They should do that a little more. So minor changes to the widget on the lock screen. Hopefully that widget that's on the lock screen will be coming to the home screen of iPhone instead of having the plain old music widget on the home screen which does nothing and again i would like to see apple continue to add these little minor touches that sort of bring the os to life there it is the little sound wave glyph on the top right portion of the widget and now last but not least i want to talk about a new feature for screenshots. Now, whoever came up with this one deserves a raise. Now, I have tons of screenshots in the Photos application of my iPhone, and that is because every time I take a screenshot, 
I keep it in my photos because I don't want to go through the process of deleting it. So now when you click on done, you can actually go ahead and copy it to a clipboard and delete it right away. So it's not on your iPhone, but it's still copied to the clipboard. You can share it via email, by notes, by a message, and that way you don't keep it on your iPhone. So right there it is, the new option, copy and delete, and now I can copy it and paste it anywhere I want throughout the OS and it doesn't stay in my photos so that way I don't have a thousand screenshots by the end of the year so yeah whoever came up with this feature definitely deserves a raise so a cool new option there for screenshots on your iPhone and that pretty much brings it into this video I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one peace